you know, great response, great fan support, and uh, we've been trying to get Tech back on our baseball schedule for a while. And uh, I talked to the baseball coach, and we said, you know, let's do Princeton <laughs> because it's right in the, you know, the stadium's in West Virginia, which is very important, unlike the Bluefield Park, which I think is across the border in Virginia. Uh, but it's a beautiful ballpark, great fan support in Princeton, and uh, we thought it would be just a, a really fun event to have the Hokies and the Mountaineers teed up on, on May 6th. It seems like you're getting Virginia Tech back on the schedule in several sports. Do you think that could be a long-term thing? Well, right now it's just a one-year agreement, but uh, I think we'd both love to uh, to make it a long-term uh you know, fixture in the calendar. We we are. It's not. It's not just coincidence that we're working with Tech. We're trying to get them involved with as many sports as we possibly can. They've got, for example, a good wrestling program. They've got uh, obviously a good baseball program. We started to play them in basketball again. We had a buzzer beater victory up in Morgantown last year, and we'll be down in Blacksburg this year early in the season. Of course, we've scheduled them in football, but that's not for a while. <laughs> I hope all of us will be around at that point to watch that game. Uh, but I think we'd like to get them in, involved with as many sporting events as we possibly can. It's a little bit driven by our new conference affiliation with the Big 12, uh, but we want to make sure that our old friends in the old Big East, whether it's you know UVA or Virginia Tech or Penn State or Pitt, that we can still have good contact with those schools, not necessarily every year in football, but uh, trying to mix it up with as many different sports as we can. Do you think this will relive the rivalry between the schools? I think any time the Mountaineers and the Hokies tee it up in any sport, it's a pretty intense rivalry. So uh, my my guess would be that uh, whenever the Honeycutt folks put tickets on sale, that it'll be sold out immediately. We'd like to have a, a majority of Mountaineer fans in there, but I think both sides will be very loud, very raucous. Um, last year we set, if you can believe this, last year we set seven of our eight attendance records for baseball. And that's over 119 years of WVU baseball. I mean, going back to 1892, we missed three years during World War II. But we've had 119 seasons of baseball, and we set numerous attendance records like there's seven of the eight top crowds ever. And I think that's an indication of the rejuvenated program, you know, but it's an all, also an indication that people in Beckley and Charleston really supported us well, and I think we'll get the same, the same effect here in Princeton. Now, are there plans to go back to Beckley and Charleston for the conference games? We will do a game in Beckley at Epling Field uh, this year, and we will do, right now we're looking at one conference game in Charleston. As you may know, we're building a ballpark up in Morgantown. It's, it, it, it is scheduled to be finished in February of 2015. So uh, this is the last year. Our plan is for this to be the last year of Hawley Field, which is the, you know, the ballpark right next to the Coliseum. And we're going to do a couple of conference matches there just to sort of ring it out in style, if you will. Right? Uh, Texas, I think, uh, will be the last conference match up at Hawley Field. So we're bringing back all former players, coaches, and really try to, to send out the stadium, you know, the ballpark, in, in, in style. It, not necessarily a lot of great moments there, but it's certainly seen a lot of baseball, and we want to honor it accordingly. So, uh, But we are still doing, you know. So you'll, you'll have this year, you'll have a game in Princeton, a game up in Beckley, and a series over at Power Park in Charleston. So we're, we're really trying to get around. We, we sometimes forget at the state's flagship institution that we're you know, so far north, <laughs> uh, and we forget sometimes that we really do represent the entire state. And I don't think you can get any further away from Morgantown than Princeton, right, in terms of geography. So uh, I think this is a, a, an attempt on our part to make sure that uh, our folks remember that we do represent the entire state, from Panhandle to Panhandle all the way down to the southern coal fields and to the Virginia border. So uh, this, in a sense, is a, an important statement by by our program that uh, you know that southern west virginia matters a lot to us what do you think fans down here will think about this location i think they'll love it. it's a beautiful ballpark I've, I've had a chance to tour it in the past uh, i'm sure most of the fans will have seen multiple games there whether it's high school or you know minor league teams playing or perhaps you know even college games in the past so i think i think it's very it's a known commodity to uh, to both hokey and and mountaineer fans so I, I i can't wait to come down i think it's gonna be just a raucous fun atmosphere What's the status of the new stadium at the current time? Any dirt turning or just uh, still planning? There is dirt being moved out there. Uh, we're doing a groundbreaking. We're a little bit late in the groundbreaking. <laughs> we're doing a groundbreaking next Thursday, I think, October 17th. Uh, but it, it's all it's on schedule at this point.